so in a previous video uh, we have created this activity and we have created add student method which actually inserts record now we will create one more method that will fetch record from student table so let me and this method will return the cursor object and this cursor object will contain all the records from student table first of all we will retrieve the database reference we will use get readable database method and then simply we will use row query method uh, of course it will accept two parameter first parameter must be query right so we will pass the query as a select star from table name here our table name is in a constant so we will concatenate it and second parameter will be null and this method will return the cursor object so we directly write return ahead of our this line of code now this method will return the uh, cursor object so we will use this object in our main activity class now let me add one button uh, that will display all the records from student table So here let me implement one method and that will be called when button get pressed or tap. Let's say fetch students. So let's create this method in a main activity. Now uh, actually we will pass intent because uh, we will design one activity with simple list view that will display all the records right. So first of all let's create one new activity that will hold list view okay so just right click on package now and select uh, new and then activity then empty activity now assign the name let's say display student and just hit on finish now keep this thing in your mind we are implementing a simple list view we are not customizing the list view okay we are not going to customize list view because uh, i will create one separate video for uh, um, this and here we will simply display name of the students in a list view we are not going to display all the records and we are not going to implement edit and delete on this list view right so let me design this list view i will simply assign one id let's say uh, simple list view now this will hold the student's name and here we will call get student method that will actually return the cursor object okay and we will fill the list view using the adapter so first of all I will create uh, object of our open helper class then let's get the reference of list view that will be populated by the data written by get student method of course we will use find view by id method to find the list view Now let's use the method that will actually return the cursor object, right? So let's.
let's say uh, db helper dot get students of course it will written cursor of there so let's say cursor c is equal to now let's move the cursor to the first record it will point it will point uh, to the first record if you use this method move to first now, uh, let's create one string that will uh, string error that will hold the student name actually we should create error list because it will dynamically grow as the record will be increased so let me declare error and we will fetch students name one by one and will add it to name array right so let me increment i by one here column index begins with zero so one will be name and zero it means student id right now we will create one adapter let's say array adapter me pass context to the kind of view you want say android dot r dot layout dot simple list item one and let's pass let's pass the array or array is names means all the names are in names array and let's populate the list view by using set adapter method pass the adapter object now now let's run this and check whether it is working or not so let me run it but actually rather than uh, here rather than string array i guess uh, we use array list now here in a fetch students uh, we will call the display student class so we will create intent right so let's create intent and let me import the package let's say this comma display student dot class let's do start activity and pass the I. so this will call display student class when button get clicked so now now let's test our <coughs> program so let me add one record first let's say don't add student so record has been inserted now let's hit display oh so our application is so the exception on line number 28 that is name of our oh so oh, we have not initialized our array as i told you we should uh, create array list rather than array but this way you can pass string array also right then we have to change in array adapter also so let me create array list rather than string array so, so array because array list will grow in size right suppose uh, let's say we declare uh, names array that will contain 10 elements only right and if we try to insert more than 10 records then in such case we will have only 10 record or it will throw array out of index 
kind of exceptions right because we are trying to insert too many records than its capacity so let me create array list and this array list has add method and in add method we will add the student name and here names will be replaced by list because we are passing the list rather than array now let me run it and oh we'll run this time so yes yeah it's totally working as you can see now let me add one more record Certain and it is reflected over here so keep this in mind this is the simple list view you cannot implement delete insert or uh, delete update over here right for that we have to create custom list view right here uh, let me implement say, item click listener uh, means if you want to perform any action so i will create one separate video for custom list view right to implement delete and update so first go through this video and then you will be able to understand the next video with uh, which will represent custom list view